No, all right, so for those perceivers who never actually get this section, every morning I actually do some extra stuff. <laughs> I know, it's the first time you guys have got it, which is cool. So um, what I wanted to teach you guys, and we'll, we'll start properly in a, in a second, is other than Rowan makes a noise. Go, 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 go. Five seconds. Go, go. <laughs> Edit this video. <laughs> Go, hurry up. Okay, so there's this one key thing that I'm finding and noticing about coaches. Now, what you all need to realize right now is you need to take a higher place. And that higher place you need to take is a place of leadership. And Tony Robbins always says he's not a, a motivational coach, he's a leadership coach. And I'm starting to find that leadership is the most important thing. Now, how many of you have ever heard me say that influence is the most important thing? Yeah? Influence is the most important thing to start with. But in true <coughs> leadership is where you really need to go. First, you need to know how to influence yourself. You need to know how to influence other people. But then you've actually got to lead, lead them. Now, the key thing about leadership, the key thing that I find people that, I suppose, are new to being leaders, is the first thing that they do is they try to pull everyone to their map of the world, right? We know about the maps of the world, we know about rapport. They try to be leaders by saying, come do it this way. And I know for the first two years of myself being a leader and being a coach, all that I did is try to take people and bring them onto my map of the world and say, this is the way to be. In fact, this is why, this is the only thing Tony Robbins does. Okay, this is one of his biggest flaws Tony Robbins does is he just goes, see the world my way, and he pulls them over to his map, and he says, you've got to see the world this way, if anyone's uh, studying or be doing that stuff. Hey guys, uh, we're just doing some extra stuff, so you're not like... Yeah, turn off my phone. Yeah, yeah, you're nailing it. So, leadership, and the important thing about that is, unlike Tony, I want you guys to be really, really, really good leaders. And the way to do that is to actually expand. I was talking to Ben about this, this is why it's in my mind. Tony Robbins. Yeah, I was talking about Tony. So I'm talking about leadership being the skill that everyone needs to understand. And the way one of my mentors explained it to me, which is. Is that right? Oh, yeah, on. That's all right, this is extra stuff anyway. Thanks, bro. One of my. Um, it's the recorders on the red. One of my leaders said this, he said, it's like you're in a warehouse and you've got a flashlight and you're only seeing the very, very smallest amount of the world. And the world is this huge warehouse and all you're seeing is this very, very small amount and that's all you're able to see. And it's basically like your filter. So it's like you've got this huge, huge, huge thing and all you're able to see is this little bit over here. And unfortunately, when you do that, that's the only people you're really able to lead. And what happens when you're like that is when you become a coach, which is really being a leader, you're just leading them to show them what you want, is if you don't actually go into their model of the world, if you just say, look, you're here, but this is the way you've got to see it, you never actually get to help them. And I know that uh, myself and Harriet for a long time battled with this. We'd go out there just telling everybody, you're doing it wrong, you're doing it wrong, you've got to go, you got to do it this way, you've got to do it this way, you've got to do it this way. And so the one place I want you to, to, to really look in as a leader is to expand how much of the world you can see and really start accepting, accepting others for what they want. Does that make sense? This has been one of the biggest lessons for me in growth was just to accept people that want to have a job. Just to accept people that want to live a life of scarcity and just to accept them and to love them. And when I finally started to accept and just to love those people where they are, they actually started coming to me for help and I was then able to help them. Does that make sense? I want you to write this down. What you resist will persist. What you resist will persist. And what we do is when we go through all this enlightenment, the first thing new coaches do is they want to go out and they want to change everybody. It's like Fabrice and her there, hey, you got to see it my way. What are you guys doing? Or feeling like you're, you're not worthy. Just be worthy. And you try to pull, 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 pull. 
And what happens, unfortunately, is... Harry, do you want to be a demo because you're sitting up? Come here. Come on, quick. Is what happens... I don't think I've done this demo with you. Is if you put your hand up like this and push, push back against me. If she's pushing like this and you're pushing, you're not going anywhere, okay? Now I want her to go this way. I'm going to keep pushing. I'm going, you have to push down. I'm going, go this way, go this way. And she's pushing back. She's going, no, 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 I can't do it. No, 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 I can't do it. And we just keep pushing, okay? Now here's what you really need to do as a leader is to accept it and love and allow the push. So it comes, she keeps pushing, push, 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 keep pushing, keep pushing. And then you get it to go the way you want. Does that make sense? Whoa. Whoa. And you get it, Pink. Like dirty dancing. And what happens is the one thing that you really truly resist will just stay there and you don't get to help those people. Okay, you're going to be there resisting something. You're going to say, no, 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 don't do that. It's not in the book, Mish, this is extra. I was just filling time. <laughs> Sorry, dude. This is just some extra stuff. Uh, I always do something extra just, just before we start. And so if you push back at the world, if you push back or try to say, this is the only way to do it, you are going to miss so many people because they are going to go, well, I just can't see it that way because all I can see is this bit here. So I want you to realize the one thing in your life that you think is 100% true. What's the one thing in your life you think is 100% true? Whether it's, I think, 100% everyone should be doing this. Everyone shouldn't have a job. Whatever that one thing is that you think is 100% true, I want you to dig into that and find reasons why it could possibly not be true. Because that one area that you are so certain about that's where you have the most growth to do. Does that make sense? That one thing. No one wants to be around a person or to be coached by a person who won't first accept them where they are, allow them to go their way for a bit, and then move them to the way that you want them to go. Does that make sense? You actually allow a person to fail, feel the pain, forget the stools, Take the wrong, don't, don't bring the music stand. And then you allow them to feel the pain first, and then you move them to where you want them to go. So the reason I was talking about Ben that, about this is because we were talking about planning. And I knew right from the start that Ben needed to plan. I knew that. Did Ben want to plan? No. We did two courses in a row. At the second course, on the day of the course, we had no stools. <laughs> he had forgotten the uh, music stand. We were doing printing on the day before, and he was stressed. And Ron's going, are you going to help him? 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 Like, no, 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 that's what he wants to do. And I allowed him to come this way. He felt the pain. He got so stressed. Me and Ron ducked out. It took us 10 minutes. We bought two stools, came back, and did the course. Ben's face, and we walked in with stools 10 minutes before about start. was like, oh, thank you. But he had to feel all the pain first to then to be able to see it, to be able to come back. Does that make sense? And sometimes, as leaders, we're too busy just trying to lead right from the start, and we don't go, yeah, it's okay, just stay unhappy for a bit. That's going to be fine. You're going to be fine. You're good. Feel the pain. I'm there with you in your pain, and then I'm going to lead you back around. That makes sense. And that's true leadership. And the place that you think, the bit that you're resisting, that's the bit to really dig into. That makes sense? And so... What I want you to, to really do is spend the next week, if you really truly want to be a leader, is that one thing that you think is just uh, horrible, whether it's people that are broke, people that are stuck in jobs, just loving those people for being that. Because when they feel that and they feel like, wow, he, they accept me for just having a job, they accept me for being unhappy, then I'm open to listening to them. It's not just this pushback, if that makes sense to everybody. Cool? But we're all here. Was that valuable? Mm -hmm. Good stuff. That was so huge, like when you're talking about someone's thing that they're most certain about and how that's for you to dig into. Yep. Um, and just, yeah, just hearing you talk about that, I just literally just then just sort of got a feeling of like, man, like just kind of overwhelmed a bit, you know? Like quite, felt quite a lot of emotion come up. Like really struck a chord with me.